here we are, fellows, gals, kids, Bluff, Utah. And uh, we're just a little over the uh, border here from Arizona. So our first night in Utah. And there are some bluffs around here. Very pretty. Um, hoping to get to do some driving around the area. The, uh, the campground entrance, by the way, is right up there, that little check-in place. Most of the check-ins are done online, though. And I believe over in that area, because I hear red wing blue uh, blackbirds singing, that means water. And I believe that's where uh, the San Juan River is. So there's about 14 sites in here. Let me uh, I'm gonna go around on the other area here. It's just one loop pull through, very long. Well, I say very long. It's just a long pull in sights, pull throughs. And uh, yeah, yeah, San Juan River's running out there. There's some more bluffs over in that area. So we drove some really pretty uh, territory coming down here. Some interesting, really gorgeous cliff formations through um, Monument Valley. And if you've ever seen any older westerns, I'm talking 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, produced by John Ford. A lot of them with uh, John Wayne then you have seen Monument Valley on the big screen. So like I said, nothing fancy, got a table. We do have full hookups, water, sewer, and electric. Can't remember what the, uh, what the price is. I'll look it up for you. There's uh, four showers and bathrooms up there in that little place up there. I'll take a picture of those for you. There's the dumpster. Yeah, glad I know where that is. So I'll, uh, this is going to be a quick review. <laughs> so we'll see if we can find some places around here you might enjoy um, getting out and hiking or walking around. But boy, just just the views of those uh, cliffs is really really nice. Well, check that out. There is a little pond down here. So the river must be fairly close if they've got water down here. Here's some uh, red-winged blackbirds. Here comes a turtle duck. Somebody lives over there, I guess. Anyway, there's a driveway pulling down through here. See some picnic tables and uh, some grills out there. I'm trying to figure out what that goes to. I'll keep walking around. These must be uh, tent sites down here. Vans or cars, maybe? It says A on the left here and B on the right. I saw a sign that said C up that, that way. So, and there's a picnic table. Hmm. Very interesting. And then uh, on down this way, it just says walking path only, no vehicles. Uh, let's walk down to the end and see what's out there. Quite interesting here. There's two sites right there with uh, water only and two fire pits. It's right here at the end of the uh, pond, if you will. There's another spigot there. Got a basketball court. Not bad. Picnic table. There are some people down there. So that must be another dry camping spot down there. But over here, yeah, we've got not much there. But there's a series of water pipes all the way to the end with a uh, sewer. So I guess it's half developed. There. They just kind of stopped right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with water and with um, sewer. 
That's crazy. Well, hey, dream on, right? So this is coming up on the end of the uh, campground right here. I'll see how many spots there are. This would be a nice little spot for dry camping right there. Yeah, I was right. 14 spots. The end right there. Looks like a, a fire pit over that way. Very interesting. So I'm at the end of the loop here now. We're on down that way. There's the office. There goes the highway. This would be a, a pretty cool little dry camp spot right down here. These guys got it made. Except there's no hookups. But they can use the uh, bathroom and shower. All right. Inside the bathrooms. So when you come in the door, there's uh, two bathrooms on this side. Each one has a shower. And looks like work in progress here still. And two bathrooms with showers on the other side. So, well, let's just pick one here. There you go. Yeah. Huh? Each one, each bathroom comes with a magazine. So, nothing fancy, of course. But, hey, they're pretty clean. Not bad. Yeah, here you go. There's Bluff Fork historic site right down there. And we're surrounded by uh, bluffs here, all the way down. And there you go, Cadillac Ranch RV. Free Wi-Fi. There's the Cadillac. So, an oldie but goodie, for sure. I think it's seen better days. Nobody's going to haul this out of here. Yeah, sure why anybody would break things up, beat them up like that. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. There we are, right down there. The Wi-Fi picked up as soon as everybody left camp. At least I was able to get an email out. Do a little looking around. And by the way, the... Uh, San Juan River is right over by those bluffs, at the foot of those bluffs. I thought it was over this direction, but uh, no, nah, it's just a pond over there. Okay. Hey, guys. Okay, well, let's, let's do a wrap-up here on uh, Cadillac Ranch RV Park. Um, like I said, not the greatest bargain. I mean, basically, 14 campers all in a row. The only amenities are a sh uh, four showers with toilets and a fire ring and hookups. And I guess there's a grill, but I don't know that I'd ever use it. Um, for, it was $149 and like 19 cents to, uh, to stay here. And in my book, I didn't know that $33 booking fee was going to be there. I saw it come up and I thought, nah, surely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it put it at all close to $50 a night. So I should have looked. There's a, there's another RV park here in town. There's some up within 20 miles in Blanding, uh, just a short trip. So if you don't want to put out that kind of money, uh, I certainly don't recommend this park for that. And I probably would do it differently if I had a chance. But on the good side, this had it is close to some areas to go see. And I'm gonna again, I'm gonna put uh, clips at the end of this wrap up. So if you want to stick around for those, great. Uh, I know some people don't get to travel um, here out west, and so I wanted to show some of those. I encourage you for any of these. Um, just about all of them, especially the national monuments. Go online and uh, National Park Service, nps.gov, and uh, see if they've got some videos on them. Look them up. Oh, there's some gorgeous sites out here in the West. Um, but anyway, 
uh, we went to, we came up from uh, the south and went through Monument Valley. So if you've ever seen a uh, John Wayne uh, Western movie, one of the older ones and many other Westerns were filmed in Monument Valley. And uh, boy, it's, it's quite the place. And it just gets prettier as you go north. It gets into uh, uh, more uh, cliff areas and things like that. Really cool. Uh, Valley of the Gods is one that we came through. Come through Mexican Hat and then into Bluff. And right between them is a pull-off for Valley of the Gods. Um, now, if you're pulling a long camper, the only distance you'll want to go on that is about seven miles or eight miles when you reach uh, what they call a castle and some warriors. Otherwise, it gets a pretty... There's some serious dips. Uh, you could high center your uh, camper very easily if you're over, I'm going to put about 30 feet maybe, but there's some serious dips. You're going to high center, but lots of boondocking out there, as you'll see in the, in the short clips on the videos. And it was gorgeous, really, really pretty. Uh, Sand Island is one just down here, maybe a mile out of town. Uh, just a little blip, uh, a place recreation area. It's a day fee, uh, day use fee area, and um, but we went in just to drive around. Just hopped at a picnic table to eat real quick, and saw the petroglyphs on the side. That was really cool. Um, Fort, um, uh, and today we went to Natural Bridges National Monument. Now that's about an hour going north of uh, out of Bluff and be right before you get to Blanding hang a left just follow the signs and it was it was really nice that was a great trip so we uh, went in did just a couple of things I had to get done at um, Ace Hardware huh? another repair <laughs> or broken thing I think I'm not sure hopefully not but it's close to those areas. Now, Hovenweep National Monument, I believe it. I think it's a national monument. We passed it on the way between here and Blanding. Uh, like I said, it's about 20 miles. And I hope we didn't miss anything there. But uh, there are things to see around in the area. And if you like uh, getting off-road, I guess this is a good place to do it. So, above all, oh, and yes, right across the street from the Cadillac, Ranch, RV Park, walk across the street, Fort Tuthill, and kiddos would love it. They'd like it. Uh, adults should like it. It is really spot on clean. It's free, donations only, and uh, you can walk around and see the history of this area. And it's amazing what people went through to populate this area. So get out there hit the road, be safe, and I hope everyone is healthy, and uh, make sure that happens, okay, one way or another. We'll see you on down the road. Going to do a little uh, trip here through Valley of the Gods. There's a little, just a little bitty creek right down here where that camper stopped. Uh, he should have no problem getting in here, though, but this is one of the places I wanted to see, so it's BLM land. Um, and uh, we'll see if we can do this little trip right here, how much of it we can get in. I uh, should be able to do it all without any problem. So let's see how nice it is in this area. Alrighty, we are driving on down the road. And you can see there's, there's boondockers out here. We've passed three or four in pullouts already. There's a setting hen rock. And there are several around here, but I'm surprised how many boondockers there are in this area. This is crazy. Wow. People are itching to get out there. We came around about at seven miles in. Um, this, I believe, is the castle, and then this is the uh, guardians or soldiers, whatever you want. You have to use your imagination a little bit. But uh, we've come down this road here, and there's a real sharp bend down here. A small trailer could make it, but I haven't seen anybody down here. And we came around on the other side of that uh, 
mound right there following along this road over here and uh, it gets there's some pretty good little steep dips right in here so if you've got a long trailer I mean this is a good uh, dip right here and it gets more hilly in and out I wouldn't recommend probably bringing a uh, long trailer in here but boy this sure is pretty uh, you could drive this in your car um, just be slow because there are bumps there are rocks uh, some dips uh, but I think you'd probably be okay. I don't believe you need four-wheel in here at all uh, About 20 miles up towards Blanding uh, from Bluff, Utah There's a turnoff to go to natural bridges, and it takes about one hour to get here um, Once you turn off at Blanding, it really is a pretty drive uh, On up here, so we'll check it out a little bit here and see what they got to offer Zoom in down there a little bit for you. Uh, a little hard to see with the shadows. easily accessible one if you want to come down here. A little bit of a steep climb going back, but easy footing. 